This is the lab where the local water is tested and Karen here does the testing. Can you help me out here? I'm a little bit confused. Mm -hmm. The locals call this water pure. The leaflets call this water pure. Even the bottle claims it's pure. And yet it looks likely that it does actually contain calcium, iron and manganese. Yes, you're right to be confused. That's because the everyday use of the word pure is somewhat very different to the scientific use of the word pure. This sample of water is actually a mixture of water and all of those minerals that you mentioned earlier. And mixtures are never pure. That's because what they contain can vary. Pure water contains entirely the elements hydrogen and oxygen. So where can I find pure water then? Um, scientifically pure, I mean. Well, if we take this sample of water for starters, I'll show you what we can do. Karen heats up the mineral water till it starts to boil. The minerals in the water can't boil off, but the pure water can. The pure water vapour passes up through this tube. The tube is kept very cool so the water vapour condenses and water trickles out the end, scientifically pure water. But when all the water's boiled away, what's left in the flask? So how did you get on, Karen? Well, these are the minerals that are actually in your sample of water. You can clearly see traces of minerals left behind on the side of the flask. So scientifically, the mineral water is no more pure than my fizzy drinks. Indeed, they're mixtures too. But that is pure water. Yes, this is pure water. It's actually tasteless. And it's the minerals that give the water its unique taste. 